The New York Giants beat the Vikings 31-24. to uh, There's so many angles to this game. Uh, no particular order. Can we all agree now? That Daniel Jones is a legitimate NFL quarterback. Guy. And I'm not, I don't want to base everything on one game. Sure. But that's the single best game of that kid's career. Uh, with his legs, obviously he ran for more than 70 yards, uh, over 300 yards passing, hit guys in rhythm and step, uh, did not uh, have a turnover, and really, really played a high level game of football on the road. You got to give that kid it's, credit. Hey, it's amazing what coaching will do for you. Yeah, it is amazing when you get a coach that believes in you and then a coach that accentuates your strengths and mitigates your weaknesses. And that's what they've done with the yep. New York Giants. I mean, for me, Brian Dable's coach of the year. Yeah, it's because him I, and Doug Peterson. I'll like, take you the one. Well, but yeah. I, I, will, I will tell you right now on paper, the least talented team in the National Football League is the Giants. I mean, in the playoffs. Yeah, most the, people couldn't name their starting wide receiver. Yeah. Right, right, right. I mean, they're the least talented on paper team in the playoffs right now. They just won a playoff game against a 13-win Minnesota team. Their coaching has been unbelievable. And taking advantage of Daniel Jones' strengths getting him on the edge, allowing him to run. The design QB runs, the quick throws out of that stuff. I tell you what, they've done a phenomenal job. You know, we this. talked about this show a lot. When you win every single game by a score or less, as Minnesota did this year, they were 11-0 going into this game in one-score games. We talked about it on this show throughout the entire season. That, that at some point is going to bite you in the right. rear end. And that's exactly what happened yesterday. You know, the New York Giants hadn't scored 30 points but a single time this entire year. This is not a high-flying offense. This is a 17-point-a-game, yeah. you know, grinded-out offense, you know, out-coach the other team, don't miss your field goals, convert late on third and fourth down, and win games that way. Old school, right? Right. And what you saw yesterday – was a completely different New York Giants offense than the one we've seen the entire year. That goes to coaching Brian Dable, and that goes to a quarterback who has figured it out. You know, it took him four years, and maybe all he needed was a good offensive coordinator and a solid head coach, but they have figured it out, and we'll get to them playing Philly later on. What's amazing is that while the Giants figured it out, it seems like the Vikings will never figure it out. Now, everyone's yelling and screaming about the fourth and eighth play, the last play of the game, in which uh, Kirk Cousins checks down to Hawkinson, and Xavier McKinney makes a great tackle, uh, drives him backwards uh, for no gain, game over. And uh, you know, Kirk Cousins spoke about that after the game, and you're going to hear something he says here that I think is very problematic, and it's not that he gave it to Hawkinson, it's what he didn't do. You are talking about the best wide receiver in football. A guy who made the greatest catch any of us have ever seen since Odell Beckham on a late night game against the Dallas Cowboys, right? Mm -hmm. Play that again. How could you possibly say, I thought about going to Justin Jefferson and did not right. feel good about it? How could you not feel good about throwing the ball up to the guy that makes a catch every time the ball's in his vicinity? That to me is the problem. Well, I, I think there's, I think there's two things there. Anytime I hear single high, okay, okay. meaning post safety, meaning of safety in the middle of the field, means you have access to the outside. You've got one on ones out there, so okay. you can play two coverages out of single high. You can play one or you can play three. Bottom line is any vertical match, any vertical route is man to man on the outside there. So you've got access to the outside. It tells you throw the ball outside. Justin Jefferson's outside yep. in that situation. Throw the ball. Throw the ball. Jefferson. Now, you're going to double team, right? You're going to pull the safety but over I, there. I trust but the Justin bottom, Jefferson. But, but the bottom line is, right, bottom line is get the ball to your playmaker yeah. in that situation. Again, that's one of those, I didn't like the look. I don't care if you don't like the look. That's the look. That's the look they gave you. That's where you should go with the ball. All right. So now here's what's funny. When you win a game, nobody likes to talk about the warts or the pimples of how you play. Mm -hmm. So just to show you, in an alternate universe, the Minnesota Vikings come back. They tie the game. They beat the Giants in overtime. There's a play that we'd be talking about today, and there is a gentleman that right now would be under about 5,000 buses. And those buses would be going forward over his body and in reverse over his body. Forward over the body, in reverse over the body. Uh -huh. And it's Darius Slayton, the wide receiver for the New York Giants, who dropped that ball right there. Oh. 
uh, which would have kept the drive alive, and he might have scored a touchdown on it. And look at the coaching. Look at Brian Dable on the sideline going, no worries. Our 24th-ranked defense is going to get the job done for you <laughs> since you couldn't get the job done and seal this game for us. Don't you worry about it. We'll get our defense <laughs> on the field. Slayton right. was – I don't care if you won a million dollars on that game gambling. That guy, Slayton, was the happiest guy in the world when the New York Giants stopped the Vikings. Up by, by, the, by the way, just look at the route structure, okay? Third down and 15, what do you do? Crossing, crossing route, pattern. man-to-man coverage, put it in front of the guy, let him try to run to the sticks. Mm-hmm. What do we do with the Minnesota Vikings? Let's run an option route underneath where the yeah. DB could just stone you. Like, you've got a chance to at least complete that short of the sticks on that particular route. Like, the, the difference, again, the yeah. difference in coaching, right? right? Yeah. But you're 100% right about that. I mean, you want to talk about beat him up. I think his hands oh. are made of feet right there. Yeah, when we used to call that, that was called right. the, uh, the Evan Ingram. Right, yeah. <laughs> they used to call that. Oh, the Evan Ingram, though. No. You know yeah. what? Things have changed. It, it, yeah, things Evan have changed. Evan Ingram's a stunt. <laughs> right. All of a sudden, I guess all he had to do was go to Jacksonville. All he needed to do was get out of New York. That's yeah. right. Evan Ingram's like a great player for the Jags now. Yeah. He would have dropped that, too. By the way, the way he had that uh, Dable reacted to it, if they lost that game, would you be all over Dable today for being too kind? No, to no. If uh, And I do a radio show here in New York, Slayton would have been uh, abused today. Yes, it would. Have, he like he couldn't have come back next year to be on the New York Giants because uh, he would have been blamed for the New York Giants, you know, losing think, that think game. Think about that. Think yeah. about that. The Slayton, like Slayton, is the kind of tenured guy there, but he wasn't a guy you're really counting He's not on, a number one. right? No. Richie James, come on. You, no. you weren't counting on him. Who? Uh, Hodgins? Hodgins. I he, love was Hodgins. On, he was on the Bills practice squad yeah. November 1st. Kicked ass, yes. Like, yeah. the job they have done, the jobs the Giants have done. What, Joe Shane, I think, is their general He's manager. He's a general manager, yeah. Joe has done a phenomenal job. Brian coaching him up. Dayball coaching him up. Joe Sh- Shane going out and getting him. What a job really? the New York Giants have done. Yeah. Truly and, a remarkable job. And the greatest hire outside of Dable and Shane is Wink Martindale. Because uh, as a defensive coordinator, that dude is better than most. And, and by the way, yeah. the guy that's known for bringing a ton of pressure, laid back, made them like laid back and and didn't bring pressure on a on a, a just a bunch of different downs where he played coverage. He sat back and said, "You're not going to get a big one on us. You're gonna you're gonna have to you're gonna have to throw it six, seven, eight yards here, there, there." I mean, he did a great job of kind of changing his personality a little bit in that game to end up winning that And they contained game. Justin Jefferson. He had seven catches, but he didn't have 100 yards. Mm-hmm. And as he goes, so go the Minnesota Vikings. And they completely forgot about Adam Thielen this entire season. And again, in a game like this, that comes back and bites you in the rear end. Hey there. Thank you so much for watching The Carton Show. You can subscribe right here to get all the latest bits and segments from the show. And by the way, while you're at it, we have a lot of great shows on FS1. So check them out too.